I got you another gift. Is it is it Mother's Day already? I wanted to I Valentine's? wanted to wish you a very happy summer. Happy um, lemon. And the best that I could come up with is uh, seeded fruit. So happy summer. Next on Ugly Fairs. Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic is going to be the best collar effect, the Jersey Showdown. John Trumps, take it away. Before people correct, I do believe it's called a hanger effect, but that's a strictly Adidas thing, and this is not necessarily strictly Adidas. Mm. So, um, premise of the show. Premise of the show. So, okay. he has no idea what's in here. I don't. And I don't know what he has to present to me. <coughs> the goal of this is to come up with an idea uh, about a certain aspect of a jersey. And I have an opinion, he has an opinion, but we're not sharing them until the moment of. And then we kind of talk about it and figure out which one's better. Usually mine, but we'll give him another shot here today. Uh, and we're going to rely on you in the comments to decide this. Of course. The collar. It's... Like, it's well, grab an example. Not necessarily something we see a lot of, but now we're starting to see more details hidden in the uh, collars of jerseys. So I asked him, I said, what's your best collar? And he's got one. But we decided that we're going to wear the second best choices for ourselves. And in thinking about this, I can't show you what it is. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a, there's a problem. So in there is a star with a couple lightning bolts. It's for the uh, city of Buffalo flag. It is. And then here, if you go back and watch our Dallas episode, yeah. uh, it's the come and take it flag, the Gadsden militia, uh, but it's in neon green. It's a good one. I, I, look, I like it. It's a good one. But it, uh, and this is the city of Pittsburgh. It goes across the center of uh, Fort good. of William Pitt's crest. But like the idea is that you never see these on ice. Nope. It's not an element that anything with the players. This is something purely for the fans buying jerseys when they're hanging them up and you see it there and you see this little extra treat. It's the and devil a lot of details. Are, right. A lot of teams put a lot of things in there. Wide range of stuff. A lot of dates. A lot of team names. But uh, hopefully have, we got something have you start. For me? Oh. And they got to use that again. Yeah, careful with that. So, uh, St. Louis Blues, Jersey Cam. You, you want to talk about this? I can, but... Uh, no, you and I are both uh, flag enthusiasts. And when we spent time in St. Louis doing uh, a Blues game, you got the sense around the city that there was pride in their city's history, and it showed through their flag. And it's not one of the ones that's talked about a lot. No. No, but so it's gorgeous. The, the river, uh, the flag itself has three that go in. Correct. So they adjusted well in this. Mm -hmm. um, and the Florida Lee, what, everyone always says, like, New Orleans, like, once you say St. Louis, they're like, oh, yeah. So it's a good thing to include because it is more of a local thing. People enjoy it. Yep. Um, and it, it spreads some of that awareness. So, okay. 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 That's it. Show's over. Bye, everybody. Because I have a better opinion. Whoa! Did you know this happened? No. Phil, what? the twenty thirteen to sixteen third jersey. Okay, we got to take this. We got to do the same thing. Oh, that's not the hanger. Oh my god! I thought that was the hanger going across there. No, that's no, wild. No, it's the flames. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, now you know. You notice the shoulder patch, which is similar but not the same. It has definitely repeated some elements, but you have the mountains of glorious Alberta right there in the back. It's almost and in the prairies in the front. Tell me that's not what more Alberta could you have? Throw some poutine and pierogies in there. Call it a day. Wow, I had no idea that existed. Not a clue. I knew I had to go off the beaten path to beat you on this one. And I, I figured now that has to be super early in this collar game. I, Windy City Hockey. Told us that the first one was the 2011 uh, Winter Classic between Pittsburgh and Washington, no which kidding. put the date in the back. 
Okay, like the established... No, the, the date of the game. January 1st, Oh, did 2nd, they really? 2011. I remember at some point, uh, Boston's jersey has established 19... And uh, the one winter classic in Boston we did had every other retired numbers and shamrocks. Ah. Like here's, and there's there's a lot... And, and a lot of the winter classic games will have the day of the classic in okay. there. Which is a... That's a good use of it as far as I'm concerned. If you have a one-game jersey, that's a great use. Of course. It doesn't look amazing. It doesn't... It doesn't, you know, rely on something that's like symbolic. But as far as like, that's wheat. It's wheat. Wow. It's wheat for the prairies of Alberta. Oh man, I. Mm. So that's Bill. Can can we get a zoom here if you don't can mind? You, can, yeah. Can you a side little, by side? A little side by side. Just put picture in picture window and that's good enough. With what well, other? Yeah. Just get another camera. That's fine. You want to zoom out just a little? Yeah, just just a touch there. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, on a red. Two very different approaches. One's traditional to the city, and one's traditional to the landscape. Or that's something provincial, per, if you will. Excuse me, provincial. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the comments, you guys have to decide who's going to be the winner on this showdown. Who did it better, the Blues or the Flames, Shrems or John? You tell us which do you prefer, and what what ones did we miss? There's a lot of good ones. Phil, Phil came out with his Predators jersey, and I forgot all about the piano in the piano back collar. Like back. that's a yep. great that's a great one. What did we miss? One I think it's a good one. We might have missed one. Let us know. Talk to us and uh, let us know who won this jersey showdown. Phil, take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications of new material, and come back for another episode of Ugly Thirds. That's so good. <laughs>